Assalamualaikum and greetings everyone. I'm Iqbal Yusuf and this is TVSM News, September 28th edition. Prime Minister Dr. Sri Najib Tun Raza outlined several initiatives to transform technical and vocational education and training in the country, which includes the developing a TVET master plan. He said the master plan will be streamlined by the Ministry of Human Resources with other ministries involved in TVET like the Higher Education Ministry and Education Ministry. Secondly, he said that the government will allocate 50 million ringgit from 30% of Pembangunan Sumba Manusia Berhad's accumulated funds for TVET. Kerajaan akan membangunkan satu plan induk yang komprehensif atau TVET Master Plan yang bakal diselaraskan oleh Kementerian Sumber Manusia dibantu oleh semua kementerian yang lain yang berkaitan dengan TVET. Kedua, Pembangunan Sumber Manusia Berhad atau PSMB telah memperuntukkan 30% daripada levy kumpulan wang pembangunan sumber manusia sebagai dana terkumpul atau full pool fund bagi melaksanakan program-program strategik sebagai satu usaha menyokong pencapaian matlamat nasional dalam meningkatkan taraf peratusan pekerja mahir di Malaysia. He said this when launching a TVET Malaysia the Advanced Technology Training Center in Shah Alam. Malaysia will continue to speak out against oppression of the ethnic Rohingya in Myanmar and it calls on the world to channel humanitarian aid to Rohingya refugees who have sought shelter in Bangladesh. Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Sri Dr. Mazid Hamidi said he had voiced Malaysia's views on the issue during his meeting with the Communist Party of China's Political and Legal Affairs Commission Secretary, Meng Jianzu. In view of China being a neighboring country to Myanmar, he disclosed Malaysia has called on the Chinese government to play a constructive and important diplomatic role in tackling the worsening humanitarian crisis in Rakhine State, Myanmar. Saya telah uh, membincangkan cara terperinci mengenai beberapa kaedah yang boleh dibantu oleh pihak China dan saya yakin uh, hubungan baik antara China dan Myanmar beberapa langkah uh, diplomatik uh, dan langkah-langkah uh, perundingan yang lain mungkin boleh uh, dilakukan oleh pihak China uh, bagi menyelesaikan masalah uh, di negeri Rakhine. He told this to the Malaysian media during the last day of his working visit to China. Sharing biometric information with China since 2011 enabled Malaysia to arrest 29 Uyghur militants involved with the Daesh group and deport them to China for prosecution. Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Sri Dr. Mazid Hamidi said China had praised Malaysia's action over their arrest and bilateral cooperation in the security aspect had strengthened since. He told this to the Malaysian media during the last day of his working visit to China. He, who is also the Home Minister, said Malaysia's success in the Uyghur matter had prompted Meng Jianzu, Secretary of the Central Political and Legal Affairs Commission of the Communist Party of China, to convey at a meeting with him that China agreed to provide several pieces of equipment for the use of the counter messaging center supervised by the Royal Malaysian Police. He added the center was responsible for tracking and solving terrorism-related messages, including obtaining information on terrorist activities and individuals financing such activities to plan attacks in the country, southern Philippines and southern Thailand. That's all from me. For more news, go to tvsort.com. Don't forget to share this video. I'm Iqbal Yusuf. Thanks for watching.